Where's your ego at? When you think of the word ego, do you think of also your confidence? I want to talk to you about your workout. Do you do what your body needs over your ego? And the reason I want to ask you that is because your true potential, your body's true potential can be unlocked if you do what your body needs versus your ego. I'm talking about when you go to the gym, are you hitting bench? Are you hitting biceps? Are you doing things that make you feel good? Make you get that pump? It's important. It's good to stroke your ego. It makes you feel good. It makes you go out and attack the world and do the things you need to do to have the success that you want. But sometimes, you do the things you don't want to do to go to the next level. You want to be stuck at a certain spot in your workout, and you can't figure it out, can't figure it out, but you didn't want to sit there and figure out things that you've been avoiding, the muscle recruitment that you're forgetting about to help push you to the next level. So there's a guy trained, comes in at 5 a.m. at least four days a week. Tries to do five, unless they're traveling, of course. <clears throat> and it's funny because you know there's I do I do it's like a small group semi private type training, and there's a partner that he was training with, and. He kept seeing him getting stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And he kept, you know, and it's defeating because you're like, holy crap, man. I've been working out with Brent now for a couple years. And even though he's been telling me to do legs or he's been telling me to do certain things because there's a greater potential in increasing my bench, which is what he wanted, which was stroking that ego. but he couldn't get past a certain point. And then when a newbie comes in and starts doing really well, and then not only gets to the same level as him, but surpasses him by like 50 pounds, which that's not a little bit on the bench press. Come on, you know that. And we start chatting back and forth. We have some one-on-one -on -one time, and I'm explaining to him why I feel, if he's been dead on with his diet and his nutrition and all of these things, why he's getting smoked. <laughs> and it's a tough pill to swallow. You guys, you got I'm just being honest with them. So he starts pushing himself, you know, like he would come in, and he would be benching 225 and then we'd get to squats and he'd only want to squat like 135. He wouldn't want to do a full range of motion. We'd go to do, you know, lunges or other leg exercises and it wasn't anything that was holding him back from getting hurt. It was just the fact that he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to push himself there. He doesn't mind pushing himself on the bench. But he didn't want to push himself when it came to his legs. He always had a thousand things he could tell me. Like, oh, you know, I'm running right now. I'm training for a Spartan race. Oh, I'm doing this right now. You know, and, and at the end of the day, he knew it. It was just excuses. But when he started slapping on more weight on those squats, more weight on those lunges, more weight on those step-ups, more weight on his hip thrusts. And he saw his legs getting stronger. Guess what? Yes, his bench went up. All of a sudden, he's benching 245, 255. He couldn't even believe it. But sometimes you have to experience it to believe it. Now, do you think he would go and tell somebody else about it? Heck yeah. Which is great because. Now it gets third-party credibility from somebody else, and he can help 
unlock somebody else's true potential, right? So unlocking those gains through doing legs, things that you don't like to do, can help with your bench press. Doing things like chin-ups can make your biceps bigger, stronger. But I'm telling you things that can help you make gains in areas that you like, right? So I'm telling you that to do legs, to tear down a bigger muscle could help you with stimulating growth hormone, could help you plant those feet stronger and your power becomes greater because of the fact that you have those tree trunks down there now helping you to push more weight up. It's all correlated, right? Doing deadlifts, helping that grip strength. Grip strength helps with those things as well. Then you have the other aspect. You have your occupation, whatever it might be that you do. If you're sitting at a desk all day long and you realize, dang, my back's hurting, these things are hurting, certain muscles are tight, and guess what? You're still benching, you're still doing biceps, you're stuck in these positions, so these are always contracted, so your shoulders are internally rotated, you spend hours in those positions, and then you go and work those positions even more. So your long-term health, yeah, you might look good in the mirror, feel good right now, you know, helps build those confidence the same, but you're not getting that long-term benefit, which at the end of the day, it's really what we desire. It just doesn't stroke the ego the same. It's not that immediate gratification. So a lot of times the areas you have to hit are your post delts, doing lots of rows, rowing, face pulls, you know, bent over post delts, um, different things to help open those shoulders up, triceps. That way, obviously, you're getting those triceps engaged, helping those biceps open up, changing your positions at work doing the standing desk, setting timers, you know, all those things help with stroking that ego as well. So that way when you do go to the gym and you do want to do the things that you want to do, your capabilities are better and you're able to get more out of them because of all the things you do leading into that as well. You know, you, don't, you just jumping into your workout, not doing enough dynamic stretching, warming up, external rotations on your shoulders, because you're always internally rotated with them. Trying to figure out the best plan of action, going into doing the things you like to do the most. Making sure a good way to set it up is a two to one or a three to one ratio. So yes, you still get to do the fun stuff, get to do the stuff you love, but at the same time, try to implement two or three exercises to every one that you love. And it takes a certain mindset to get into that dedication and desire. Understanding that it's not the short-term gain and gains that you get from stroking that ego, change it into a different mind game and understanding the true benefits, true potential you will unlock by doing the things that you don't like to do, but you know your body needs. And this goes with nutrition as well. So this, it's very easy to get into the things that you want to eat and like to eat and telling yourself over and over again, oh, I like this, I like pizza, or I like 
whatever it is. I don't understand why I'm not getting what I want out of my body. Yeah, I drink my protein shake after I work out. Yes, I do whatever it is that you think you needed to do to get to the result that you want, but not admitting to yourself and hiding it from the people that are trying to help you to help you get those results. To say, hey, you know what? I make sure that these are the majority of my days of the week, meaning like seven out of seven. Quit trying to baby yourself. Quit trying to tell yourself it's okay. Take it on the chin. Just go out there and do what your body needs for you to feel good. Quit trying to think that you know what is best for yourself and not seek help from others that are professionals at what they do. Because if you find that person that's going to help you and is going to pour into you, whether you need it face-to-face, -face, whether you need it, just the roadmap laid out, you need that accountability portion of it. If you know you're not consistent, you have to know what the faults are or go seek somebody that's going to tell you your faults and not baby you. Then that's where your true potential is going to come from. So I want you to eat a balanced diet. I want you to work out balanced. I want you to do what your body needs so you can hit me up in this video in the future and be like, dang, man, this really meant a lot. I went out there. I did what I had to do for my body versus my ego. All right. So hopefully this hits home. Hopefully you guys get a little bit out of this and it goes a long way for you. And hopefully you subscribe because I will preach to you and teach you what you need. All right. My name is Brent Kazers, BKPT. If you haven't yet done it, do it. Subscribe. Share this with people that are just like you and need to hear the same information. And I will see you in the next video.